of videos is I've given you some examples to do some agility drills at home. So look around what you have in your house. We used cones, we have some painter tape, we actually have a ladder. Um, if you don't have those things, you could use a water bottle, tape on the ground, even maybe a shoe to give yourself targets as you go through these drills. So keep in mind that agility is working on speed, quickness, and balance. So as you're going through these activities, you don't have to go fast. Think about those things as you're moving. It's gonna get your heart rate pumping. You're gonna feel that work in your leg muscles, your core muscles, so have some fun get outside, and most importantly, stay safe. We did them in the driveway and on the sidewalk, away from the traffic, so pick a safe space as you do these activities. I hope you enjoy. Hi everyone, it's Miss Johnson, and today we're gonna talk about agility. We wanna get outside and see if you can work up your heart rate a little bit while moving your feet, and the importance of agility is for any sports skill or your physical activity, it's just a good way to get outside and get moving. So the first drill I'm gonna show you is we are going to do the 5-10-5. Now behind me, there are three different cones and we've set them the center cone and we've put them five yards apart. Now if you have a sidewalk in front of your house, that would be five cracks, which would make it five yards apart or if you need to walk it off, five big walking steps. So I'm gonna show you three different ways to work the 5-10-5 drill. The first way I'm just gonna be jogging side to side. The second way I'm gonna shuffle, and then the third time I'm gonna shuffle and I'm gonna add a touch, getting a little bit lower, really using those thigh and glute muscles. So, let me show you. Before I do, real quick, keep in mind I'm demonstrating this towards the street. When you do this at home, you wanna be facing the house off of the street, staying safe. Okay, let's go. So here is my center cone, and it is five yards to that cone on that side, and five yards to this cone on this side. So on the word go, you're going to cross step over and I'm going to go to that cone. And once I get to this cone, I'm going to push off with my outside foot, turn, and I'm going to jog 10 yards to this cone, push off, and then I'm going to finish by sprinting past that center cone. It looks like this. And run through the cone. Super simple. You pick your speed, just moving side to side. The shuffle. Starting at the center cone, I'm going to slide over to my cone. I'm going to slide back to the other cone. And when you slide, point your toe where you want it to go. And then you're going to slide back to the center cone. As you get low, really use those leg muscles. The third way is I'm going to shuffle and I'm going to touch the cone. Ready? We're safe. Here we go. I'm going to get down. I'm going to shuffle over. And I'm going to bend down. And I'm going to touch that cone. Really using those leg muscles. Slide over touch and then slide back to the center cone. A good way to get your heart rate up, work those leg muscles, and having some fun. Stop! Our next agility drill is the five cone drill. And with the five cone drill, we're working on speed and directional change. So locomotors, meaning doing different things with your feet, there's a pattern that we're gonna move in the five cones. The first time I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna jog, and the second time I'm gonna add some different locomotor movements. And you can pick something that you like as well. So we started with the center cone here in the driveway, and I have four in the corner. So the distance between each cone is about seven feet, or if you wanna do three big walking steps. When we do the five cone drill, we always start in the far back left corner. This is gonna be our starting point. And the pattern is this. You're gonna move forward to the corner cone, and then you're gonna backpedal. Be safe to the center cone, forward again, to the one in front of us, and back pedal to the cone here in the corner. Once you get to this cone here, you're gonna turn, and you're gonna sprint or move as fast as you can, staying safe. Let me show you a little bit faster. It looks like this, forward, and then I'm gonna back pedal to the center, forward again, I'm gonna back pedal to the corner, and then turn, and run as fast as I can. So, that's doing it a little bit faster, or I can choose my own locomotor. How about Skippy? I can skip down to the cone, and then I'm gonna back pedal to the center. I can gallop to the next cone, and then I can jump to the corner behind me. Once I get to that corner, I'm going to shuffle back to the cone. Just some simple ways to work on changing direction, gets my heart rate up a little bit, really, really important for some speed, and working on that footwork for any kind of athletic activity that you might do. Our next agility drill is the five dot drill. I have a roll of tape and some chalk, so I've traced 
the dots on the ground and I've put them about 12 inches apart. You don't want to go any farther than 12 inches because we're going to be using those to jump back and forth and doing some different patterns. If you don't have chalk, another idea is just to use that painter's tape and make some X's on the ground to give yourself some targets. So the idea is we want to improve our foot quickness. So some simple things that you can do, you can make up anything on your own. So if I'm going to start on this dot here and jump, the most simple way is I'm going to jump inside and then I'm going to go back to where I started, outside. Then I'm going to pick a new spot, inside, outside. Come back to the center dot each time until you're done. If I want to make it harder, I'm going to hop. Hopping, get that balance, a little bit of a knee bend. So then I'm going to hop to each dot again, whoops, trying to keep your balance, right? Really slow down, think about what you're doing so you don't hurt yourself. So instead of doing the jumping or the hopping, we can do ski jumps or side to side. My feet are together and I'm just going to keep moving in any direction, side to side, picking those dots as I'm moving my feet. Foot quickness, making any pattern you want on those dots. Or a third idea is hopscotch. So I'm going to start with my feet on each dot in the corners. So I'm going to go two feet, one, two. I'm going to half turn myself around and then I'm going to take it back. So that would be slow if I want to go faster. I'm going to hop, turn, hop, back. And I can continue to do that hop spot as many times or maybe time yourself for 30 seconds. So three different ways to use five dots on the ground. Make up something real quick feet, working your heart rate a little bit, and getting some really nice foot speed. Okay everyone, our last agility drill is going to be the ladder. So we have the ladder here that we can use. Obviously if you don't have a ladder, you can use the tile spacing maybe inside your house. If you have chalk, you can put it on the ground or even mark it off with some tape. Um, your choice. So with the ladder drill, I'm going to show you three different things that you can do. Be creative when you have your ladders. We're really working on the mechanics of how you move your body when you're moving your feet, not just your legs, but your upper body as well. And just some good foot quickness to get those feet moving. So the first way I'm going to show you is facing the ladder forward. It's just two feet in at a time. So I'm going to go two feet in and I'm going to hop to the next ladder. And we go one direction and then we're going to come back to the other side. So if I go a little bit faster, I'm going to go two feet in and then come back to the front. So if I mention working your mechanics, watch how I pump my arms at the same time I move my feet. So that is your first choice. The second one is two feet from the side. So I'm going to start at the side. I'm going to go in, in with my feet, in, in, and then I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop on one foot and go in, in on the other. In, in, out, in, in, out. And then I'm going to walk back to the beginning. So if I show this to you a little bit faster and add my mechanic, in, in, out, and I'm having quick feet, I'm going in, in, out as I keep those arms moving, upper body and lower body at the same time. A third idea with the ladders is the scissor kick. One foot in and one foot out. And I'm just gonna switch my feet. So I'm gonna go in the box twice and then I'm gonna move my body sideways to the next box. One, two, sideways. One, two, sideways. And I'm gonna work myself all the way down the ladder and do it again. So let me show you a little bit faster. Moving my arms in, in, and I'm going down that ladder, getting my feet in and out of the box. Simple ladder drills, gets that heart rate moving, works on your feet, works on your arms, all of those mechanics that make you into a good athlete, keeps you active, 